Welcome back. I haven't moved, I haven't done a thing. So we're about to set up this industrial blast furnace. First of all, let me drop my inventory off into my project table. All the stuff that makes sense to drop into the project table. Okay, so now we're gonna need to set up the MFE. We're gonna need some more cables. We're gonna need the low voltage transformer. All right. So I'm thinking this uh, blast furnace is going to go right over here for now. I can always move it. I'm going to stick it right here. Oops. All right. Just like that. It's three by three base and four blocks tall. We're going to need some crazy power for this thing. Maybe I should start filling up the power now. So I can go ahead and remove this bat box. I'm just gonna take these take these out now. Now the low voltage transformer is gonna be the first first thing. So LV transformer. I think for the blast furnace you can just stake power straight from the MFE. I hope. I really hope. Uh but you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to give it all low voltage. And that shouldn't be a problem. It's still got the 128. So how does this work? I think the input is the three dots like that. So that's the LV transformer. So I can still use my bat box for this stuff. I can go ahead and set this up to store power up for these machines. Let me break one more to get a better angle. Okay, one dot output for that bat box. Okay, now MFE, I think I just stick it on top of this thing. Now let me hook up the generator and see if it works. Just like that. Well, it'll look better right here, and this also would work. So... This should charge up the MFE, which should give power to the bat box. And this should be giving power to the bat box also. Alright, so that is working. So now if I give this, uh, I'm going to run this line underneath this way. Hey, look, that's convenient. One of my mining tunnels already has the thing, the thing dug out for me. Let me figure out. So this is going to go right here the industrial blast furnace block. So we're going to have this cable come in underneath like this. And back to the MFE. Just like here. Okay. Just like that. Nice. And I'll go ahead and fill in that hole. Alright. Okay. And it should be, oops, wrong, wrong, well, that was weird. I put down the block and it actually went down where I'm standing and it pushed me into that hole. But it should be getting power now, it just doesn't have the casing built. So now I'm going to build the casing. Oh, you know what? I actually need to put lava in the center because that, that's going to up its stats a little bit so I can, I can smelt some more stuff. I think in order to do titanium, I actually need the lava in the center. Because it's, it's normally hollow, like with air in the center. But you can stick lava in the center and up its heat level. Because you need a certain heat level and different casings will give different heat levels. So with standard, I'm going to need to put some lava in there also. So, But this, this can go down like that. And then I'm going to need two buckets. And I'm going to go grab some lava and fill in the center blocks. I'll go do that now. I think I only have one bucket on me in my inventory, in my chest. Oh, I lost it because I was stupid and lost a bunch of items yesterday. Because I typed slash clear in the commands uh, and I was wondering if it would clear the chat and it cleared my inventory instead. So don't do that if you're the op or single player or something like that. Just don't do it. 
So there's my two buckets. Now I need to change those into two buckets of lava. And I think I have uh, some lava that I can get to from over here. This mine shaft. Or maybe there's some lava over here. Was I dumb and turned it all into obsidian? Nope. Alright. Cool. That was easy. Go turtle, go. That program, I'm really glad. I'm really glad I wrote my own. And I mean, it's, it seems to be working so great. Like it's been 24 hours straight now, and it's been running without any bugs. Perfect. All right. So here's the lava for the first level. Then the next level goes on same way. Lava's gonna go in that one too. I'm, oh, what the heck? My chat is turned off, so I can't see. Why can't I see his name? Some setting I have. There we go. Got two extra, which is expected because I got 36. Only needed uh, 34. Okay. So, this should be good. Now I just need to put my titanium dust in there, which I actually don't have any of. How do I get titanium dust? What is he looking at? Oh. Yeah, they do look like gold. Glowstone bricks. Alright, so how do I get titanium dust? Oh, we need a centrifuge bauxite. So I don't have an industrial centrifuge. Um, why don't I see the... Oh yeah, you have to get the tiny piles first. That's why I don't see it. So you... Yeah, there you go. Oh, industrial electrolyzer for bauxite dust. I think I need like two stacks of box of dust. I'm gonna need two pieces of titanium, so which means that I'm gonna need four things of tiny pile, four tiny piles each. So I'm gonna need eight tiny eight tiny piles each. That means just recipe times four, which means I'm gonna need 48 bauxite dust, which I might already have. Uh. Nope, I don't have one, because I'm I'm probably in the wrong biome where I don't ha I don't get any in this biome. So I'll need to go mine that stuff. So I guess I'm not gonna be able to make my titanium today, but I wouldn't be able to make my quarry anyways because I don't have enough diamond either. So hold on, I'm gonna cut the video. I'm gonna figure out what to do next. So I realized that I wrote a program a while back that I never tried. So let me go ahead and try it. Well, let me make sure I have it still. All right, look at that, all those programs. Um, smart Excavate, there it is. All right, so I have it. So I think I need to give it stone, sand, and gravel. So there's stone, not, not sand, stone, dirt, and gravel. So because what this does, it mines out the like a normal mining program, but it, it compares all the blocks it can see to these three blocks that you give it, and it won't pick these up, so you don't get tons of these when you don't need them. It'll dig as much as it needs, but it won't just dig everything. It'll look to see if it's something like an ore besides one of these three. So let me go ahead and move this, and I'll start an excavation. I need to get my chunk loader. Let me see, what do I, where do I want to do this? I got a chunk loader. All right, so I think I'll go on over to here, this area. This corner sounds good. Not too f close to all my stuff. I'll go ahead and dig in uh, over here. I remember this, I found this before. Okay, so this is gonna be 
I'll go ahead and just, well, I need to figure out the chunks. I think if I turn on the chunk grid shower thing, it doesn't actually show it on this shader. So let me go ahead and turn this off for a second. Well, it's so dark. Um, all right, I'll have to deal with that. All right, so this is going to be, oh, maybe my brightness is down or something. No, I don't know. Just when you turn that on, it gets dim. All right, so the best, in order to get the most out of a chunk loader, I'm going to start this at the corner of a chunk. So as soon as I find a green grid thing, I'll know that I'm at the edge. This is good practice. So if you do do it, watch what I do here. This is good practice to get the most out of a chunk loader without people getting mad at you for using chunk loaders that are too big. Uh, okay, so here's a green right here. So if I can find the corner, so the, the intersection, let me put down a torch, if it even changes much, all right, makes a little bit of difference. All right, see the red right there, that's, that's the corner of a chunk. So I'm at level 12 right now. I think I want to do, I can do a three by three excavation. So chunks are 16 blocks by 16 blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this here, give it the ender chest, give it the three blocks. I, I should check its fuel level. Okay, that should be enough for three chunks. So I'm going to, I'm going to say smart excavate 48 by 48. Or maybe I just give it one number. I don't remember how I set it up. Let me see, smart excavate 48. Okay, that's probably wrong then. 48 by 48. Nope. Let me go ahead and look at the code. Edit. Uh, let me scroll down to the bottom, that'll give me an idea. So it's asking for one argument, which is so all right, so I just gave it one number, but why did it give me an error? Let me let me try it again and I'll figure out the figure out the error. Live debugging smart excavate forty eight. Oops, wrong one. Forty eight. That line three hundred and thirty eight. Cannot use dot dot dot. Okay. Oh, the line 102. Edit. I'm like, I don't have that many lines. Okay. What's at line 102? It's near the bottom. Okay. First line of the code. Local args equals so what's the problem with that? Hmm. Hold on guys, be right back. Not sure. What the heck? Cannot use dot 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 outside a very arg function function. So do my other programs work? Yes. So what's the problem, officer? Give me all my stuff back. I think it's lagging. All right. Well, I really can't figure out what's going on with that program. Sorry, it's still dark. It's gonna. It's not gonna be dark when I fix the. When I put when I move this grid off the screen. When I remove the grid, I mean. All right. So I'm gonna just go ahead and run a different excavation program that I've used before. With not the smart one, I'll just do the normal chest excavate. It's not normal chest though, it's now ender chest. End chest excavate 48. All right, there we go. So now I need to stick a loader down in the middle. So let me go ahead and dig into, well, once it, I'll just wait for this guy to dig into the next chunk and then I'll go ahead and dig into the right. 
and find the center chunk. Okay, so my turtle dug into the next chunk over, so now if I dig to the next chunk in this way, since my turtle is excavating a 3x3 three three chunk area, I'm going to put my chunk loader in the center chunk, and then give it a radius of like 1, so it's going to cover uh, this 3x3 three three chunk area. I'm going to make use of all the space I can. Then I can get rid of the grid, which is causing weird dark dark lighting. So I just, as soon as I'm inside this border, that's enough. It doesn't matter where inside the chunk you are. I'm going to go ahead and stick that down right there. It's like invisible from the bottom, but you can see square radius of two, total of nine chunks. Sounds about right. I can show the lasers, and you can see it's going to go along the, the border of this thing. Yep, so that's perfect. So that's exactly where I want it. I'll go ahead and turn this stuff off. Much better. And I'll just leave this up here. My turtle's going to be digging at this height, and it's going to dig this block, this block, this block, but this one's going to be safe. Okay, what now? I'm going to have some more materials coming in. I don't have to... Do, oh, I need to turn off these lasers. Let me see. So I need some bauxite. And a couple diamonds. Then I can get my quarry, I think. I can actually start crafting that. I'm going to start doing that. I, I know I need the diamond drill for the quarry. I can get most of it crafted. But, I mean, I can get all of it except for the final thing crafted. So I can start doing that. My shaders are off right now. Dang it, I forgot. Oh yeah, because I wouldn't show the grid with them on. There we go. Nice. Okay, so quarry. This is the thing I'm going to make. Um, need titanium for the diamond drill. Well, the advanced diamond dr drill. Or it is called diamond drill. But I can make the normal mining drill. It's going to take iron or steel plates and I do have some steel not that I produce but that I found in chests around the world I think it's in my all right so I need five of these what else do I need for that uh, normal no, normal mining drill normal electronic circuit and an RE battery so I need some tin Ooh, lots of tin Okay, that's everything I need in here. Okay, there's my RE battery. I need an electronic circuit, which I have the stuff for. Alright. Now I need to set up my plate bending machine to get these turned into plates. Then I put the plates around there. So my plate bending machine is over here, I think. There it is. And I'll just stick it down here for now again. Come on. Why can't I? Okay. Alright, there we go. How's this going? 32,000. I can go ahead and just stick a stack in there. Stick a stack. Because now I won't need to keep checking that over and over again because it's going to be holding so much power. I'll automate that later. But for now this is this is fine. Oops, not in there. In here. Why does it feel like I'm zoomed in? Shaders can do some weird stuff. It doesn't feel like my field like my field of view is right. See that? It just changed. Okay. Alright, so these things should be done already. Where's that? Okay. What kind of gears do I need for this thing? Iron, gold, diamond. So, 
these in order to make diamond you need gold and in order to make gold you need iron so I need seven iron gears which you need stone gears for which I have I'm gonna go ahead and grab my seven stone gears probably in here okay what's seven times four is 28 all right I'm gonna need three times seven of the no, 3 times 4 is so 12, and I don't have that many diamonds, but I'll go ahead and spend diamonds on this, so I'm going to need, okay, there's 8 for the 2 diamond gears, and I'm going to need th uh, 3 more diamonds, so I, I have 1, I need 2 more basically, then I can finish the diamond drill, but these are going to go like this. Just like that and then three of these why do I have 13 gold I messed up oh I did the math wrong I need four of these not three of them so there's three more all right so then two of these will become diamond gears Alright, so the diamond gears are going to go like this, iron like that, I think. Yeah, advanced circuit, diamond drill. So this is going to need to become a diamond drill once I get a couple more diamonds and the titanium. Um, I can start making an industrial electrolyzer because I'm going to need that to produce the titanium. This is going to need to be an advanced circuit, which I already have. Alright, I'm going to need to keep watching my ore processor to make sure it's working well because my turtle is now going to be dropping stuff because it's how it's going to, oh, see, there's some stuff coming in now, redstone gravel, yep, let me go ahead and drop some stuff in there. Alright, should be able to... I think even if my turtle, my mining turtle, and the tree farm turtle drop to th this in the same time, I don't think it'll overflow. I think it's fine. But it, it'll be pretty close. Just gotta make sure this thing has enough energy to power these. Alright. So, uh, now I might as well go ahead, go ahead and make an industrial electrolyzer. That's gonna be... I know it's, you need a lot of stuff to make that thing, but I can go ahead and start that refined iron plates okay so basically you need three different machines that you're combining magnetizer cheap electrolyzer pretty cheap extractor also pretty cheap let's go ahead and make three machine blocks for those three machines I think it's all in the project table all the refined iron Okay. Just need three of these. One, two, three. Now I'll go ahead and make the tree taps. Um I need some more copper cables. Well, I need more electronic circuits. So I'm all out of copper. Again. So copper's gonna be coming in from the turtle. But I, I'm just gonna craft what I can, and then I'm gonna call this video, and then I'll, I'll show, I'll show my progress later on. But um, I'll do all I can without the electric circuit, electronic circuits. So I'll make the, all these three machines ready to be crafted. I need a machine block, and I need four tree taps. This one I need. All right, let me just get the tree taps before I forget. So. I think it goes like that. Oops, no! I shift clicked and it gave me a bunch of buttons. I don't want those. Okay, so I got my four tree taps. Those are ready to be made into the 
extractor. Uh, magnetizer seems easy, so I'll go ahead and do that. Need some iron fence. Is that? Got my redstone ready in there. Let me just go ahead and throw all the stuff in there. So that's ready to go. Um, I'm gonna need four refined iron plates, and my plate bender's already set up, so I can go ahead and do that. I'll just go. I'll just do the four. All right. So not too much left, actually. Okay, I did that one. I need to do this one. Four copper cables, electronic circuit. So I just need to get a couple empty cells. These are the four tins in a diamond shape. Okay. That wasn't bad. Yay. All right. So these will, I, basically as soon as I get some more copper. Oh, I realized that since I'm digging so deep, I probably won't be getting any copper from this turtle. Why do I have copper in there? But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll get that done later. Um, regardless of how I get my copper. I'll probably have to set up my turtle up higher somewhere to get some copper. Alright. Bread. Okay, that's going to be the end of this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.